invest a lot of time and money and effort in our landscape plants. So when they start showing symptoms of disease, it can be difficult to make that decision whether we should try to clean up the plant by using cultural methods such as pruning or when we get to the point of ultimate removal of the plant. This particular tree is a blue atlas cedar and it's starting to show signs of a symptom we call dieback where the branches are dying back from the tips, we have some defoliation, but eventually if we move up the branch, we get into healthy wood. And we're still a relatively good distance from the main trunk or stem of this particular plant. If you have a situation like this where you're seeing dieback in one of your landscape trees or shrubs, this is certainly a situation where you could try to clean up this particular problem and potentially save the tree. What I would suggest is you want to prune out this diseased wood, but it's really important that you do it during a dry weather period. You want the plant to be dry when you start pruning and preferably for three to four days afterwards without any rainfall in the forecast. When you prune the plant, often, even though we can see the disease portion of the plant here, the pathogen is inside the wood and it's starting to cause disease in some of these branches that might, or these twigs that still might look healthy. You wanna go back at least 10 to 12 inches from the visibly diseased part and start your pruning. Now, when you do pruning, you can use something like a chainsaw and you don't really have to worry about disinfecting your tools with a chainsaw because the heat of the tool itself when it's running takes care of that problem. But if you're using a hand tool like loppers or pruners or a saw, in between each cut, you are gonna wanna disinfect your tools. Now you probably have a lot of disinfectants in your household. I've brought a few just as examples. You also probably have a bleach solution. You can put things into a spray bottle to make it easier to spray the tools and clean off any potential propagules. After you're done pruning, all of that diseased plant material needs to be disposed of in the trash rather than put into your compost pile. And that'll help us clean up this tree. Now, over the next several months or even years, you're gonna have to come back and continually look for new evidence of cankers or dieback. And if you do see it, then go ahead and prune it out. If the trunk of this tree got breached and was compromised and we started seeing a canker or death of the tree from that point on, perhaps everything above, then you may ultimately have to take out this specimen. But more than likely, we can prune out this one branch and save this entire tree for many years to come. So just a tip if you're dealing with this problem in your own garden.